City have taken the corner short. So it does enough. Yeah, it's, it's a, look, that's a quick transition there, and I don't think it helped. Lauren James has scored more WSL goals than her this season. And Lee Gu Min will be hoping to make an impact from the bench against her former club, just as she did in November when she scored the goal that gave the prolific Khadija Shaw is fit and starts in a big boost for the visitors after recovering from a shoulder problem. Philippa Angledahl misses out with a slight hamstring issue. So it is Manchester City to get us underway. It has been a desperately disappointing USL they have left to fight for. And they bounce back here. The disappointments of recent days. Oh, will it be Brighton? Pull off another shot, looking for only their second win over Manchester City in their history. First coming earlier this season. Here they come. Haley looking for the run of Turland. As the Gower gets there. A positive frankfurt attitude from Elizabeth Turland. Yeah, I mean, it's a great start from Brighton already. Here is Greenwood for Manchester City. Alexander. Then pin possession. Now Hasegawa. Kasparov. How much confidence will that win in November give Brighton coming into this one? Oh, I think it will be because I think it's when you get a result against a team like this, you know that you can do it. You know, and I mean, I, I watched that game as well, and Brighton were very good. They had a very good game plan going into that game, and they they punished. They didn't have many chances, but they punished City when they did get their chance. So, yeah, I think knowing that you're coming into it, you've already done one over them. I think they'll be feeling confident they can do it again today. Yes, and they were helped out by an outstanding performance from their goalkeeper, Sophie Bagley, in that game as well, the uh, Manchester United player. Here come Manchester City, Shaw, back to Fowler. Chloe Kelly on the bench once more for Manchester City this afternoon. Here is him, taking on Karabali, Wahabi. Now Greenwoods, Manchester City really pushing high up. Nervy clearance away, let's arrive once more. Gower forwards, Mark on the turn. They're still going, Jess Park. Close down by Torres Dos here. Now Fowler. Space for him. Won't fall to short. That's a Gower for Manchester City. Brighton dropping so deep early on. Here is him. Now Wahabi. Masegawa. Park. Goes down by Lasada. Pinto will help out. Uber clears away. Yeah, you could just make a mistake like that. Well, they suffered their own FA Cup exits in their last match, Brighton. 4 0. They lost to Manchester United. And Mickey Harris saying that. Can use that sort of defeat as fuel to drive you forward, or you can crumble. You know what I and the group will do. As we say, haven't beaten Manchester City for the first time in their history already this season. Certainly something to build on from that performance. Manchester City build down the left. Hemp went for the chip. Bagley just about deals with it. It's a battle of battle of bodies, really. But I don't think she she does anything late. Torres Dotti. Anticipation by Greenwood and Coombs will steer it to par. There is a zip about Manchester City's play so far. Point to prove, perhaps? Yeah, and I think, yeah, point to prove after a disappointing week, but also they know that they need to win to stay with Chelsea. They have to, you know, and I think it might help them that they've only got one thing to focus on, whereas Chelsea, obviously, they've got four, four competitions to be thinking of. And for the interception, Hasegawa saw the run for Harvey. So did Katie Robinson. Followed by Caravalli, but nobody. It was a huge result for them if it had gone the other way. Just been 
two points between them. Yeah, it's a six-pointer, and it really, really silly those sort of games. And I think it really just sort of killed off Bristol a little bit as well. But it's an important, huge result for him. Sada with the foot in, cool there. Pinto looking for Robinson. Harvey's there. Now Coombs. They're just pushing up a little higher, Brighton. Alison Haley and Katie Robinson just providing that support. Scorer, Elizabeth Turlett. Yeah, you can hear Mikey Harris as well. He's constantly saying, let's go, let's go, let's go on the front foot. He wants them to press. As soon as when City plays the ball from the defence into the midfield, he wants them to go, he wants them to get tight. Alexandre. Kasparov. Passiga. Shaw. Played away by Kuhlberg. Here goes Mary Fowler. Up. Here is Hemp. Wahabi will get there. She's once more, Lily Wahabi. Good run, but ran into trouble. Robinson ran into Hasegawa. He so often just knows exactly where to be. I'm laughing as well because we hardly running in there. That's like me when I was centre back running and I was thinking, ah, I don't know where to play. Just everyone sort of runs away from you there. How much would you discuss the last 10 days in terms of going out of the cup competitions? I think you, you, you hurt, you know, you would really hurt from it. Uh, just frustrating when you see things like that happen within our game. We did eventually get underway after sorting out that sock colour clash. It's a big, big win. Chelsea. Here comes Brighton. Almost through to Katie Robinson. Alexandra has to watch turn and flags up. Keating saves. Blue peeking through. Dry for now. It's Brighton look for the breakthrough. Masada with the delivery and it will ricochet inside the area. She couldn't get the shot away. What a chance for Brighton. See, Alex Greenwood wins the first ball, but she just doesn't stop. She carries on her run and it deflects straight down into her. So Greenwood gets a touch here, she just carries on. She just can't seem to get that connection, but she doesn't matter. Park is possessed, and here comes Zidjotti. Madison Haley. That's a Garrett. Now here is Greenwood. Robinson. Intercepted by Greenwood. Keating with the clearance. Torres Dotti. Carabali. Again, Brighton stringing together a nice move. 
Pinto is in there. Alexandri under pressure. Will run the ball clear. Here is Alexandri. Hasegawa. And Manchester City have dealt with that well. Here is the Sardo. Here is Park. And Hemp could be in here. Hemp for Manchester City. Brilliantly squeezed through. Sophie Bagley beaten. And Lauren Hemp gives Manchester City the goal they sorely need after the 10 days that... that but she'll punish them. It's a good patient build-up play from CE. You see Lauren Hemp, she's run off the back of Lasada. I mean, Bagley, I think, will be wanting to do a bit better with that one, especially from that angle here. But you can't allow a player like Jess Park to be able to pick the space up, the ball up there in that much space. And from a great angle. It's a lovely ball by Jess Park. Vicky Lasada almost getting something. The frustration, the punch down on the pitch as well. She knows she should do better. But... Here goes Alexandri. By Kulberg. Peter Shaw almost stealing that away from Zidjotti. Here is Hasegawa. Alexandre. Now Kasparai. Hasegawa once more. A little loose there from Greenwood. Manchester City dallying. Could it be costly? Greenwood's done well to win it back there. Nasegawa forward to Hemp. Off she goes, Lauren Hemp. Nothing in her mind, it looks like. Still going, Hemp. And the block was needed. Well, she's got drive this afternoon, Lauren Hemp. Manchester City played the corner short. Here is space for Coombs. Locked away by Brighton and will spin to Katie Robinson. She's done really well there. Hasegawa matching her stride for stride, but Robinson is too strong. Just in front of Kuhlberg as the flag goes up. And the referee will stop play. Well, she did. Yeah, frustration for Brighton all round, really. times now you see that it's one point from a losing position in the league that's the joint lowest in the WSL versus Manchester City who dropped only two points from winning positions this season they look for the second goal Park almost wriggling all the way through it's another corner but those dry just Park moves away and Mary Fowler will swing it in and the header is off the line Manchester City so close to the second as Coombs as effort is deflected behind. Last it's the important in the second phase to make sure you switch on. That's Alexandre to Park. interchange between Manchester City once again and Khadija Shaw could be in here. Good foot in by Bergsband. Shaw still has it. Now Fowler. Kasper Rai in support. Cleared away by Bergsband. Hasegawa. Bergsband there again. Cleared away by Kulberg. I think Brian did it really well but I really do think once they're beaten in that back line, you have got someone like Chloe Kelly in there. She's able to put the ball in, whip it in, put it in the air, dink it up, whatever it may be, whatever delivery. They're just missing that. Well, she is an option from the bench for Gareth Taylor this afternoon, as Coombs on the turn does very well. Free kick given eventually. Sophie Bagley and her side to do. Greenwood with the free kick. Good delivery. Sure with the header over. Annoyed on the outside because the ball could have been slipped through to her. 
She is now in possession. Here she is, Kirsten Kasparai. And Fowler. Kasparai will latch onto it. Good play. Goes the goal herself. Bagley beats it away. And just enough on it to send him wide as well. Manchester City still come. Wahabi. Poor delivery. Lead away by Lasada, who was then taken out by Khadija Shaw. Please play. But here, Casper Wright picks the ball up. She, she drives the ball, she cuts inside and away from Hemp, who was coming in the, at the back post, too. Here come Manchester City once again. Fowler's there, Fowler scores, 2-0. Lovely run, lovely finish. Take a grip on this game. That's like Man City's DNA, isn't it, really? From 1-1 one, one player setting up just there. 1-2 from Coombs and Hemp. Great delivery. Oh, with Bagley, does she come? Does she stay? Defenders ain't got a clue where she is. Managed to conclude both of the attacks that have beaten Sophie Bagley. Hemp taking the shot early on for the first. Perhaps I feel she could have done better at a near post, but the power on it from him, enough to take it through. And again, quick cross, quick finish, quick goal, 2 0 for the second. Alexandre. Intercepted Scott Masada. Sagawa to Coons. To get past Berg's fans. He's done well. Hemp's done better. Khadija Shaw, angles tight, unselfish. Fowler's effort blocks. In this first half, Wahabi. Might have a player down in the centre circle. It's Torres Dot here. Here is Coombs. Manchester City take advantage. Hemp will squeeze it through to Coombs and Zajotti. Got an important foot in. Right, and really, you think should now play the ball out of play, and referee Megan Wilson takes that decision out of their hands. Torres got it, will be able to receive some trick, make any changes. We shall see. She's back on for now. But of course, they have the break coming up to assess the extent of any damage. Yeah, she doesn't seem to be running too comfortably, though, with it. But again, it might just be, listen, it's not long to half-time. Let's get in. We've got 15, 10, 15 minutes or so of her. We can make a decision then, which does seem to be in a lot of discomfort. And it has to be get to half-time now, doesn't it, for Brighton? 2-0 is very, very different to 3-0, and that's the risk you take. Let's come out to this right-hand side for now. Maria torres dossier carabali has gone central. So torres dossier up against Lauren Hemp. The last thing you're not feeling 100%, <laughs> isn't it? Berg's fan taking charge, dispossessing Shaw. Here is Park. Just the City, they will know. Time is ticking away, but they potentially have an opportunity here with Tyson's back line not quite at full fitness. Well, this has paid off. They've got through to half time, Brighton. Maria Torres Dos here, and that's a lot of experience, Jilly, to have lost. I mean, Lee Mungwen as well, an experienced player, but you played with Maria Torres Dos here. She really likes to orchestrate that back line, and she didn't look happy initially when she came off. Didn't manage to continue until half time as Brighton look to break through the Manchester City back line early on. Too much on that for Lasada and Manchester City will have a. You see, they're pressing early. But it's just hard when City pick the ball up in those gaps, you know, and it is hard to try and press all the time. You can't do it physically as a player. But it's about if the front line go, then the midfield have to go as well. The defence has to come up too. Here's Alexandri to Shaw. Pressured by Carabali. Shaw does well. Now Hemp, off she goes again, Lauren Hemp, up against Lee Mung Wen. Wahabi. Hemp, nice turn, decent try, very decent indeed, cannons off the post. This is good little patient, but she does spins, Ming Wen. 
What an effort from Lauren Hemp. So close to 3-0 Manchester City. And you probably wouldn't expect Lauren Hemp to come in on her right foot and, and, and curl the ball the way she did. It's a great effort. It's a great chance. Just it was a shame that no, there was no Manchester City player able to pick up the rebound. Manchester City still come. Here is Jess Park. Nice footwork. And in the end, straightforward enough for Bagley. Manchester City coming again. Fowler. Just ahead of the Australian on the return. Alexandre just enough to Alex Greenwoods. Hasegawa. Oh, looking to score at one end, Manchester City, in terms of their record at the other end. No clean sheet in their last three games after a run of five in a row. It comes to goal difference, looking to keep that back line tight. Here is him. Coombs on the stretch. Berg's fans can usher the ball behind. Whereas I think Caravaggio just going, it's like a steam train, just going through the back of her. Nice play by Robinson. Lasada. Did you see to Kulberg? Closing down by Fowler. Lead away by Caravalli to the feet of Tatiana Pinto. He wins the free kick, much too Casperized. Fowler. Park, bit of space. Fowler. Shaw's on the move. Kasparai, Shaw, time to take the touch. Coombs with the effort, blocked by Bergsvans. And Hemp will let it bounce for the corner. Do you feel that Manchester City need another goal to make the game safe? I'll answer after this. <laughs> Let's see if they get it here. Kasper I. Here is Hemp. Shaw was in there. Well, headed away by Bergsvand and helped on by Kuhlberg. Madison Haley with the foot in. Pinto down. Bryce beats against Brighton in November. Brighton's first ever win over Manchester City. City had 35 shots. They hit the woodwork twice, including the bar after 19 seconds from Chloe Kelly. But it was that late goal from Lee Gu Min, their former player, that undid them. Oh, Coombs down right on the edge of the area there, giving the referee a decision to make, and she's given... You can't just say, hang on a minute, I want a penalty. Yeah, no, you do have to wait. I think now with Coombs, knowing, knowing Coombs, and I think she tries to stay on her feet for as long as she possibly can, so I do think she felt the connection there from the side on the back of her heels. It was just outside the area. So it would have been a free kick had it been given. Here is Lasada, such an experienced player, highly decorated with Barcelona and the former Manchester City player herself, of course. Lead away by Keating. Brighton playing dangerously with the ball as well, you know. They're trying to do the patient build up from the back. A bit similar to Greenwood, really, in the first half, in the sense of a centre back. There's not really much movement in front of her. You're eventually setting yourself to get into a trap because you forward presses you, which is what we just saw from Shaw. There's a good chance you're going to get a turnover. Here is Turlands. Madison Haley back to Turlands. Pinto can't quite squeeze it to Kuhlberg. Need to try and get Elizabeth Turlin, their top scorer, into the game more. Yeah, she hasn't really seen much of the ball in a game like this. It's difficult because obviously Manchester City have had most of the possession. And I think in the first half, when Brighton did get the ball in the latter stage of the first half, they got a bit better with it, taking care of it when they went forward. But someone's just overhitting it or, or giving the ball straight back to City, you're not going to be able to get her into the game as much. Frustration for Lauren Hemp. Well read by Alexandri. Oh, gets the better of Pinto and Coombs forward to Fowler. Neat footwork. 
agreement. Nasegawa. It's Greenwood once more. She was making a run on the shoulder of Carabali. This would be the required response to those two cup exits for Manchester City. It's Brighton coming forward. Turlund, Kuhlberg joining the attack. Here is Emma Kuhlberg. Hemp's gone all the way with her and done very well. Yeah, really good from Lauren Hemp there. You can see the space opening up. Kuhlberg was striking into it. Lauren Hemp had to track back, otherwise she was through. Beautifully done by Hasegauer. And Manchester City are on the hunt for a third goal. Here is Coombs. Fowler to the left for delivery. Lee Mengwen will clear away. Just a couple of times now from Coombs, our last few passes have just fell short of where they needed to go. There's a Gower looking for Shaw. Cleared away by Kuhlberg and Pinto will help it on. Giotti. Back to Carabali. Should be able to clear away. They're inviting that pressure on once again. Let's see what they do with it. Carabali to Zijotti. Flag goes up against Casey Robinson. Right, it is now closing down Kiara Keating. Very experienced South Korean international. And it's the time of the game where Bryson have to go for it, Jilly. Yeah, and I think with Lee Gumin, she's gone down central. Turland's gone out to the right. And I think with, with Lee Gumin, she's very direct. You know, she likes to press you. She likes to be all over you. Don't let you have the time and the space to play the pass that you want. And she'll never give up on something either. So I think it's a, it's a, a bold, promising move from Mikey Harris. What can Manchester City make of this move here? It's promising it. Here is Fowler. Might go for goal, does go for goal. Too far away from Mary Fowler. She cuts inside on her right foot. She, she did originally go on her left, and then she cuts back in. Approaching the midway point of the second half. It's Manchester City, who, as things stand, are moving level on points with leaders Chelsea at the top of the WSL. Here is him. Everywhere at the moment, left wing, right back, central midfield. She don't even look tired. Diamonds finds Turland. Trying to play through Lee Goomin. Manchester City play their way out of trouble. Casper Rai, Shaw in a foot race with Carabali, and Shaw's got there first. And Shaw's past Carabali, who pulls her back right on the edge of the area. It's going to be a free kick. What punishment is there going to be for you? Free kick for Manchester City. Greenwood goes for goal, beaten away by Bagley. On the follow-up is him, blocked and cleared. And Brighton survive. And are off on the counter. Here goes Robinson, roared on by the home crowd. Hasegawa with her, Robinson still with it. And in the end, Wahabi getting back does enough. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it was a quick transition there, and I don't think it helped. But Fowler ended up losing her foot in two. But Katie Robinson does really well to drive Brighton up the pitch. Hasegawa just does enough. She has to stay with her there. She does really well defensively. Brighton once again dropping deep. Here is Greenwood. They are pushing as a front three when they can. Turner now closing down Alexandri, but Manchester City have played around it. Hasegawa, Fowler, saw the run of Park. Locked away, City corner. Sure. City have taken the corner short. Hasegawa will send it in, and the header is in. Third goal for Manchester City. And that will be the three points for Manchester City. The game's going. It was, it was waiting to happen again. Brighton far too slow to come and close that ball down. Can't allow a player like Yumi Hasegawa to get the ball there and have the time and space to pick out Shaw. That's really well with the header. But as soon as that ball goes into the box, you need to be steaming that ball in there. 
I'm sure does really well to climb up and head it. It's, I just think in, in the WSL, anyone can beat anyone on their day. And I think there's a few teams who have still got something to say in the matter. Um, so, yeah, I think it's an exciting end. But like a neutral for the game, I want it to go down to the last day. I want it to be exciting. Quite a cryptic way of staying on the fence, Jimmy. I like yeah. that. Here is Lee Gimin. Oh, I see Tatiana Pinto. Alexandre will tidy up for Manchester CC. I have to say, when it comes to the top three, Champions League football for next season looks pretty much assured, unless there was to be a remarkable turnaround by Manchester United combined with a pretty remarkable collapse in the top three. And that is big for a Manchester City side who missed out on this competition, of course. Yeah, and I, and I think it's probably helped Manchester City this year as well, that their sole focus isn't on those extra games. But yeah, I think for United, if they miss out on it, it'll be a bit of a, a blow for them because they wanted it so much, you know, to get into the top four. It's all about getting into the top three, getting Champions League. Here come Manchester City, Fowler, it's behind. Sure, it's Coombs. It's four. And she does have her goal. Swept home to underscore how Manchester City have bounced back from their recent disappointments. They are very much staking a claim in this title race. They lead Brighton by four. clara has got a clue where she is at all. Completely all of them just ball watching there. She's able to just get the ball passes it into the back of the net, but that's been coming for Laura Coons because she's done that throughout the whole of this game and she's deserved her goal. Cheats. Be a tricky Sari. The player that has come on for Brighton is Chloe Kelly, substitute for Manchester City. Eases away from Caravalli. Kelly looking for the immediate impact. Bergs van will clear away to Simons. They've got every chance to do it. Confirmation of that Brighton change you just saw there. Tatiana Pinto, the player replaced by Beatrice Zari. Here come Brighton. Kulberg. Let it run for Sari. Lovely ball over the top. Turlin's drawing the save from Keesing. And once more, actually was in the first half. Manchester Derby clearly in mind, Jilly. Yeah, I think you listen, if you're 4 0 up, you've got to be sensible, you know, because realistically, probably this starting team, with the exception of Chloe Kelly coming in, would probably be the team that will play against Manchester United. It's also, though, a great opportunity for these players, Morgan, Mace, you know, who've not been playing a lot, to be able to get minutes. You know, you have to be able to gamble as well going forward. Here is Shaw. Turns away from Grace McEwen, who brings it down there, the 16-year-olds. They are to come up against Khadija Shaw, but you're making your WSL debut, you're 16 years of age. And you're coming up against one of the most... Here is Park, nice control. Fowler. Mark on small. Kennedy. Morgan. Well, the question was, how would Manchester City respond to going out of the FA Cup, going out of the League Cup, seeing those treble hopes which were alive just 10 days ago, ended? in this victory at Brighton today for Manchester City. Is your player of the match, Jim? Yeah, the, uh, the player of the match is Lauren Hemp. Her role in this game is done. It's Mason Simons takes this week. Brighton, Turlin, Sarri. Oh, brilliant! Brighton do get a goal. Lee Gumin's relation, but it will mean so much to this player. Off the bench again. To cause the ticket finish, it is. Yeah, and I think if you're looking at Manchester City, it's come down that right-hand side for them, where they've comes in, she's in a great position. 
but it's, it's poor from Manchester City defensively, and I think they'll be really frustrated with it. Brighton earned themselves a corner. Deep delivery, powerfully away by Kennedy. Simons locked away by Blinkilda Brown and can be collected by Kiara Keating. What an impact she has off the bench, and particularly against Manchester City as Keating is closed down. Turland almost getting on the end of it, so he does. Three points might be Manchester City's, but want to take another hit on the goal difference. Sejossi plays it forward and he almost in again. Greenwood across, nothing to lose here for Brighton at all. Greenwood does well, Mace. And now the game stretched. Clark will run it forwards, pulled back there by Simons, then challenged by Simons, but final few seconds to play. Manchester City with the free kick. Delivery, Shaw was in there, Bergsman as well. Once again, no clean sheet for Manchester City, four games without one now. I just think they really kicked themselves there, Vicky, because it's come from a set piece, com completely switched off. Now, Brighton do really well because they play quickly, they see the space, but Manchester City will be feeling very disappointed with that. Kennedy brings it down. So, yes, a slight blot on this result, this performance for Manchester City. And as we've said, the difference could be so key. But the key thing was to respond to the disappointment. 100%, Sarah. I think they showed that they, they bounced back, you know, from two really disappointed exits out of the cup. Uh, they had a good performance. They were able to raise their levels even more so in the second half. You have different players, you know, playing in certain positions like Mary Fowler out on the right, still had impact.